I just can't do it. And he's been he's been getting at me, you know. Tina, where you at? Tina, you know, we need to talk. Tina, we need to hang out. Let's go eat. I know the deal. He caught me at a weak moment in my life. And before I had totally separated from my husband, I um, I was already like disconnected, you know what I mean? I was and so I have to attest to my vulnerability and uh, it's just something that I'm just not proud of but I can speak about it because I've gotten up and I've gotten over and it has definitely made me a stronger woman. That's something I just don't want for me. I just don't. I meet my fair share of men all the time. I meet chicks too. But I just can't do it, you know. I can't. And, uh, mm -mm. Mm -mm. I'm surrounded by men that I've dated before in my life. They're here. The guy that I had a one-night stand with before in my life, he's here. But I'm here with myself. And I love it that way because I just don't want that. I don't need that in my life. I was talking to these young ladies on Bourbon, and they were so antsy and giggly. You know what I'm saying? I mean, you're supposed to come out here and have a good time, you know. And I was just, you know, putting them up on game and was just saying, you know, because um, one of them was like, well, you know, when if he going to call me back? And I'm hearing, I'm, oh, I'm overhearing them talking about it. And so she was like, I wonder if he gonna call me back. He ain't called me back, you know. And so, and I turned over and I looked and I said, did you, did you sleep with him? And she gave me the funniest look. And so she said, why do you ask? And I said, you know what? I've been there and done that. And him calling you after that, 70% chance he will not because he's conquered. And when it's too easy to get and they don't have to work for it, what's well, he just sticking around? Men are hunters. And if you don't give them some form of a challenge, an obstacle to go through, what are they going to do with you? You know what I'm saying? What are they? I mean, like, what are they going to do? Like, seriously, like, what are they going to do? And this morning, I'm trying to pick my words wisely before I say some things that I shouldn't on social media. I'm just tired. But this morning, you know, after after everything was over, and so he says, I'm just going to say he, okay. So what you came here to do? I'm like, I'm going to stick around here until about 11.30, and then I'm going to go back to my room. Oh, okay. Well, maybe we can go get something to eat. And it's like, wow. I mean, I do appreciate men being chivalrous. I really, really do. I appreciate that. And offering to take me to eat and everything. But...
if there's uh, let me see if I can lay down and be comfortable without exposing things I just couldn't you know and he was like let's go to sisters and eat and you know mothers and I was like baby I can't go I just can't you know and especially when I know that you're you know, you now have someone in your life. We've discussed that. We talk all the time. Not all the time, all the time, but we do talk. You know what I mean? And so, but being that I know that you have a woman in your life, you know what? <laughs> I wouldn't want it done to me. You know what I mean? And and what make it so bad, I think she's here. I think she's actually here. Things in the game done changed. Now there was a time that, you know, I'm just not into such things. I know the game. You know what I mean? I know what these guys want. I know what, where, where they're going with it. You know what I mean? Let me turn the camera this way to keep from showing things. But I know the game and I know what these guys be wanting. And for me, it's best that I just stay out the way. I know my weaknesses. You know what I mean? I know my weakness. And I have a man in my life to go with it, you know? But <laughs> the flesh gets weak. <laughs> the flesh gets weak. Because when I tell you, oh my God. Oh my God. I'm so, oh. I don't want to say the wrong thing. I don't want to say something that I shouldn't say. Because you guys know I have no breaks. And I'll just say it. So I'm really trying to choose my words wisely, but oh my God, baby, listen, don't play with me. Don't play with me. Okay. You know who I'm talking to. You know, you know where I'm at with this. Don't play with me. Okay. Because I'm all the way grown and I don't have to get any permission to do anything. If I want to do it, I just do it. But, I just, I just don't want that. I just don't want it. You know? I don't want... You know, I don't want to. I don't want to be the one that fuck up in the relationship. You know what I'm saying, and bring somebody else in sexually. I don't want to do that. I mean, my 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 relationship is not the best of one, but it's good and it's and it's doable. It's workable. If it wasn't, I think I would have been gone a long time ago. You know what I'm saying? There's pros and cons to everything. There's hits and misses, and. You know, wow. Um, Jeff smelled so good. Oh my god, he smelled so good, it was ridiculous. I said, Oh my god, don't touch me like that no more. Don't, don't do it. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying that, you know. I was saying that to myself, you know what I mean? Because you, he would put his arm around me a certain type of way, you know, while we were talking and whatever. And me and Jeff were going to go. He was taking me to go ride the bull. He was like, T, I'm going to pay for you to ride this bull. Come on, let's go. Family, how about, okay, Jeff called me earlier. And so uh, he was like, well... I think I'm going to lay down and get me some rest. And I was like, 
me too. So we both actually went to sleep. He was like, well, just call me when you wake up or whatever, and we'll meet up later. I was like, okay, cool, no problem. Family, <laughs> when I showed up on Bourbon, I was actually on the corner of Bourbon and Canal, right there by that little voodoo, it's a voodoo liquor store, like a voodoo, voodoo market or whatever. They sell sodas and all kind of stuff. So I was at Voodoo, and I was standing in front of Voodoo, and I was talking to this guy, this guy in a wheelchair. So, I mean, he was really, really nice, you know what I'm saying? And no way would I just, I'm not rude like that. You know how some chicks be like, nigga, don't talk to me. Leave me alone. Why are you talking to me? No, I'm not her. You know what I'm saying? Just because I'm, if, if I'm not attracted to you or whatever, I'm not going to be condescending and disrespectful that's just not my thing so anyway me and this guy we were just you know just, just you know just talking or whatever and he was asking me questions about cali and you know and all that and am I, am I having a good time you know just regular stuff all of a sudden here come this guy walks up to me and just bear hugs me like to the point of damn near lifting my ass up off the ground like it was Jeff. Oh, God. I said, oh, my God. And he just smelled so good, like freshly showered. You know what I'm saying? So after he took his nap, he took a shower because, you know, how like, you know, you can you can smell a person that fresh shower smell. Yeah. He was freshly bathed and, you know, deodorant on and stuff and. Jeff has to be, I don't know, maybe close to six feet, maybe? I don't know. I mean, he's much taller than me. He kind of towers over me, I guess. And then, too, he just has a badass body. Family, when I tell you Jeff is fine as fuck, excuse me, okay? Because I know somebody is going to say something, and I don't give a fuck, truthfully. I'm just being real. I don't care, okay? Get it. Okay, so no, it doesn't make no sense to go all in my comments. Oh, well, you being disrespectful and this. No, I'm a realist and I keeps it true. Okay. <sighs> Family, he came up to me. And now, mind you, you see I had on a white wife beater, right? Jeff walks up to me with a white wife beater on. Bad as a motherfucker. Some nice little... Khaki shorts on, sandals on, no socks, you know what I'm saying? Nice toes and shit. He didn't have no toe overlapping the other one. His toes, nails wasn't dark and shit. And I was like, wow, had a nice little arm piece on, you know what I'm saying? Little wrist, little wrist action happening. Oh, my God. I just looked at this man. I was like, you know what? Just stop it. I want to say 2008, maybe, or nine, is when I met Jeff for the first time. I want to say that was 2008. We've never slept together. I, I just, you know, like I told you, I don't do strange flesh. We have never slept together. And we run into one another, the strangest of places. I mean, now mind you, Jeff lives in Alabama, okay? I've ran into him in Vegas. I've ran into him a few times here at Essence. And it's, it's not like we contact each other like, what you doing this weekend? That's what's so crazy is the fact that we don't contact one another and be like, what, you know, mm -mm. nothing like that. And so uh, for us to just continue to, and he was like, Tia, I was going to say Tioni. He says, Tina, I think I got a GPS tracker on your ass because I don't know how is it that we keep continue to show up at the strangest damn places all the time. And then, you know, and then he said, how are you going to dress like me? I said, no, you dress like me. Okay, let's keep it 100 you dressed like me, okay? <laughs> Lordy. 
we get up there to go ride the bull, they wouldn't let us in. Huh. They wouldn't let us in because we had on white wife beaters. Not allowed in the swamp. That's where we went. Because at Cowgirl, Cowgirl is cool. That's where me and Kane and, and Kenny went to and earn it. But the swamp, though, is the black one. I mean, it's more, you know, more black folks. You know, the music that they playing is off the chain. You know what I mean? It's a whole different feel. And, um, so we get up there to the thing and meet him and one of his friends. And he has some fine-ass friends, too. They roll in packs like motherfuckers. I was like, you know what? All y'all niggas are sexy as fuck. I'm saying this to myself, you know what I mean? Because I would never say that to him. You know, believe it or not, I mean, I'm very boisterous and outgoing and outspoken and all that kind of stuff. But mm -mm, I've never been.